What is SOG? Military Assistance Command Vietnam Studies and Observations Group was a highly classified multi-service United States Special Operations Unit which conducted covert unconventional warfare operations prior to and during the Vietnam War. Established on 24 January 1964, the unit conducted strategic reconnaissance missions in the Republic of Vietnam, South Vietnam, the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, North Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia carried out the capture of enemy prisoners, rescued downed pilots, conducted rescue operations to retrieve prisoners of war throughout Southeast Asia, and conducted clandestine agent team activities and psychological operations. I am your host, Bruce Christensen. The history of SOD tells the stories of those who have fought valiantly to protect the liberty we hold most dear. The history of SOG has preserved and honors the legendary feats of our SOG soldiers. The history of SOG provides military history to today's soldiers. Veterans of all conflicts, their families, and to the public at large. Our mission is to educate, inspire and engage our communities now and for generations to come. I have embarked on an adventure of epic proportion. I have designed a new website. The History of Military Assistance Command Vietnam, Studies and Observations Group. Within the contents of the site, I have documented all aspects of SOG from 1964 to 1972. Including, overall history of SOG, SOG chiefs, bases, mission, teams, virtual museum, individual. Stories, pictures, videos and so much more. There is also a store to promote SOG authors, books, and other SOG-related items. www.sogsite.com My father Paul Christensen was assigned to SOG. Although he never talked about it, I did see his pictures and plaques. I knew he was a Green Beret, but not until my 30s did I find out what SOG was all about. The website, blogs and videos are dedicated to all the SOG warriors and the supporting units. Such as the air assets, maritime operations, mic forces and all of the indigenous troops assigned to SOG. One such warrior was. Major General Alden Bargewell. But Vietnam War heating up, Eldon enlisted in the Army in 1967 and went straight to Special Forces selection. Once he received his Green Beret, he deployed to Southeast Asia. There, he further volunteered for the Elite Military Assistance Command Vietnam Studies and Observations Group MACV SOG. SOG was a covert unit that conducted cross-border operations in Cambodia, Laos, and North Vietnam. It was composed mostly of Green Berets, some, Navy SEALs, Recon Marines, and Air Commandos. As conventional units struggled against the North Vietnamese and Viet Cong, these operators fought America's secret war. Bargewell quickly made a name for himself as a steadfast operator who was cool under fire. During a cross-border operation, Bargewell's team came upon an NVA base camp that appeared deserted. They quickly scavenged through the camp, trying to locate any valuable intelligence. Bargewell did indeed find something, but in the process, he was shot in the chest by an enemy soldier who had been hiding. Miraculously, the bullet got stuck in his chest rig. In another harrowing mission, Bargewell was shot in the face. Despite the severity of his wounds, he continued to provide cover fire for his team to exfiltrate as their perimeter was being overrun by scores of North Vietnamese troops. His actions on that day earned the Distinguished Service Cross, an award second only to the Medal of Honor. Eldon was an absolute stud. He always pushed guys to the limits, whether it was in training or in the field, John Stryker Meyer, another legendary Special Forces operator, told Sandbox. Another great thing about Eldon was his thirst for knowledge. His desire to learn never left him, not even when he made general. Bargewell and Meyer served together in the secret of SOG. Meyer has written several books on SOG that offer a unique combination of on-the-ground but also historical perspective. Bargewell commissioned as an officer in 1972. 
Nine years later, he tried out for the Army's new counterterrorism outfit, Delta Force. He successfully completed the arduous election process and passed the Technically and Physically Rigorous Operator Training Course, OTC. He went on to command at every level in Delta Force, including as commander. Later in his career, Bargewell held positions in the Joint Special Operations Command, JSOC, U.S. Special Operations Command, SOCOM, and as commander of U.S. European Special Operations Command, EUCOM. In an interview in 2003, Bargewell had described what drew him to service and the military. As a child grown up, I was always interested in the military. I still remember watching newsreels from World War II and the Korean War and thinking that was something I wanted to be a part of. When I was promoted to Brigadier General, one star my mother told me that when I was six, we were watching a newsreel of the Korean War and a general was talking on it and I pointed and told her that's what I wanted to be when I grew up. But Bargewell was far more than just a great leader and operator. He was a compassionate man with great emotional intellect. In 2005, Meyer learned that his stepson had been wounded by an improvised explosive device during a patrol. He knew that Bargewell was the director of strategic operations in Iraq and had mentioned his stepson's condition during an email conversation. Bargewell took the time out of his extremely busy schedule to visit Meyer's stepson at the hospital. Bargewell spent the majority of his career in special operations units. He deployed to Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, El Salvador, Panama, Bosnia, Kosovo Haiti, Afghanistan, and Iraq, both during Desert Storm and Iraqi Freedom. When Bargewell retired in 2006, he was the most decorated soldier on active duty. His award repertoire included the Distinguished Service Cross, the second highest award for valor under fire, three bronze stars with valor, four purple hearts, and the Presidential Unit Citation from his time at Saad, among other medals. His hometown in Hockley, Washington state, hasn't forgotten the man, Eldon. The Major General Eldon Bargewell Foundation is raising funds to create a park in his memory in Hockley. The required sum is $300,000 for the complete project. Donations will also be used to landscape the park and provide a fund to maintain the park in the future. Robert W. Droll, landscape architect, P.S. has been hired to develop a landscaping plan for the park. M.G. Eldon Bargewell Memorial Fund. 100% of donations go to the Delta Park Project and are tax-deductible. Donations can be mailed to the Grays Harbor Community Fund, 707 J Street, Aquium, Washington, 98550. They check out to DH Community Fund. Memo MG Bargewell Memorial. Donate online https colon slash slash www.gh-cf.org slash online hyphen donation slash. Bruce Christensen has made the Eldon Bargewell Challenge coin. This is a fundraiser project to assist in the completion of the Delta Park project. All profit from sales of the coin goes directly to the foundation. The coin is two inches with Eldon picture on one side and all of his units and commands on the other side. You can purchase one of these coin at www.norvay.com. Major General Eldon Bargewell. A true American hero.